I hope you all slept well last night. I'm trying to hop in this AREC that I saw running a couple minutes ago. And I missed the buy-in I was talking. So, uh, usually right when the market opens, like right there, I ain't got to check, do I? Bam. Get it for the heart. There we go. So, right when the market opens, you will see a lot of times the stock will take off on the first candle, like right there. Now, I bought it. It took forever to get filled. I don't know why it took so long to get filled, but it did. Uh, I just wanted a quick 10%. So, I bought only 100 shares at $3.29. So, I need uh, basically 33 cents. So, I needed to be uh, $3.65 about. I'm mad because we, we didn't, didn't fill how it's supposed to. You look here in this previous high. It's right here, 326, which is the the resistance point. It blew through it, but it pulled back immediately, which is not good. Now, I tried to buy in way back here. As you saw live on camera, the freaking stock, it wouldn't fill. My order wouldn't get filled. Sometimes that happens, you know. That's why I like to buy sometimes at limit order or sell order. What I'm going to do is watch it right here for a quick pullback. I know I got the video off started pretty crazy, but... Let me go back even further. It's second leading gap per day. It has uh, 26 million shares being uh, share flow. It has almost 9 million shares being traded. Now, yesterday, close to day, $1.59. Uh, the news this morning is right back here. It has news. As you see here, you can read it up on it later on if you want to. Uh, hold on. Look at something on my cell phone. Now, I usually don't buy stocks that's cheap, less than a dollar, which is why I didn't buy Rave this morning, because Rave yesterday was only 50 cents, and this morning went up 300%, so it's telling me that something's going on with it. Now, I bought in the right point on this uh, AREC stock, however, as you saw it live, the order wouldn't get filled. So a lot of times when the stock is moving real fast, the order doesn't get filled, and you end up stuck holding it at a price you didn't want to get in at. So when it finally got filled, it pulled back immediately, which is costing me money right now. My buy-in order was way back here, as you saw live, way back here at 312. It didn't get filled at 329. And then by that point, I couldn't sell it. Hold on. I got rave on my on my uh cell phone. I get rid of it. Rave on my phone. It's gonna be uh I'm everywhere this morning. I wasn't prepared for that quick move like that. Um, Sun W. Sun W. Sun W. Four forty six current prices. Four sixty. I watched Sun W. And rave on my cell phone, trying to get a buy-in point. A R E C, twenty thousand shares, maybe. A R E C, gonna hit it three twenty-five. Hold on, start. Trying to get some things going. I'm trading Sun W my cell phone in at three forty. My sell point on Sun W is actually uh sorry not three forty, uh four forty. My sell sell point is four ninety five, on my cell phone. Uh, what we got? Era A R E C Rave, and I'm also watching uh Peck. Peck. Man, Arac is taking a dump on me. I can't even really focus right now. I'm trading bigger money for my cell phone. Alright, so, back to focus. So, I'm down right now more than 10% because I was messing around on my cell phone. This is the one minute chart right here, which is careful, the one minute chart. I watched the five day, 15 minute. You see here. We had a fake out the five day fifth, uh, 15 minute. It pulled back and reversed a little bit. So we're not looking good on the five day 15 minute. However, the EMA of VWAP is actually 290, which we right above it. 
the five day, five minute, you look here, you see a little small little pullback on the RSI, MACD as well, reversal on candle. Uh, the volume is still uh, 10 million shares on 26 million share flow, which is clutch. I see here, see the EMA? It's our VWAP. It banged it twice. So the VWAP is now support, which is actually 294. Uh, That's support now. It ain't banging through it. We A1 right now. It should pull back up, cross this little red candle here, and then take off to the moon. And there it is right there. Let's go. Make the move. I'm going to stand by here this time on my cell and watch it. I wanted to pop this candle and pop 350. I'm watching it. Pop 350. We got buyers coming in. Perfect. Pop 350. Let's go. They got a move we're looking for. Pop 350. Come on. We need one large buyer to come in and blow through this 330 mark. And we gone. One large buyer. Let's go. It's a little fake out. Let's go. What I'm going to do is right here is put my sell order in because I don't like how the movement is going. I'm going to actually create a uh, a uh, limit order. Wait, hold on. If we get movement, I can put join as. Now, if you have a large buyer come in and it moves very fast to a point that the market cannot control the amount of buyers in there, you can click the join as button and it'll, it'll go in your sell order. Hold on, watch it for a minute. Pop 350. Next stop is 375. Pop 350. We almost there. It pops this point here. We gone. There we go. They go, they go my 10%. Join the ass. I hop out of it. Now remember, I only wanted 10%. I hopped in 100 shares at a 329. You saw it live right here. There we go. And I sold my 100 shares. 10%. Now, 329, 10% of that would be 32.9 cent. In this case, 33%. So I sold my my stock at 368, right? Which is 30.59, right? 39 cents. So I made about say 12% of my trade, which I want anyway. Now you saw here live, I got in right here. My stock didn't get filled because the volume was so high. And it's halted on volatility. Look at that. Halted on volatility, look like. Let me see. I'm pretty sure halted on volatility. Yeah, see how, see how all the sell orders and buy orders are gone? That's a halt. Halted on volatility, which meaning more than 10% the value of the stock uh, was traded in one in one bar. See that one five minute bar? It popped 10%. So the price down here was three, 296. The price there is 380. Right? That candle alone, we're going to mark it here and show you what I'm talking about. That candle alone, from the bottom of this, this wick right here to the top of this candle here at 380, it's right there. That candle moved 24.58% on one five minute candle. Right? Remember, 10% volatility halt. So if a candle moves more 10% on one candle movement, a one minute candle, it halt on volatility. Now here you got a one-minute candle right here. The one-minute candle showed you way down here at uh three what we at three sixteen to three eighty sixteen point eight nine percent. Now a volatility halt is when one one-minute candle creates ten percent or more of volume one candle. It will always 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 have a volatility halt. You saw it live right there, the volatility hold. Look here, one minute candle. You see the RSI, this powerful move here. Market open. I bought in somewhere around here. It faked me out. Well, I'm phrase that. I couldn't get my order filled. It took off on me. But I trust the process, and I watched for the pullback, and still held on a little bit longer. I saw it wasn't dropping the way it should. Because remember, back here is your support points. Let me draw my drawing. Hold on. Back here is your support point. We got one here. This is point is right here. Now you look at the candle here, you see perfectly that once those points, the channel there, it bangs up, it pulls back, right? It bangs up and it blows through it. This is be called the head and shoulders. Here go the shoulder, it pull back, and there go the head. Now when the mark when it unfreezes again, you're gonna see that it's gonna make a little small pull, 
it popped back down here somewhere for the shoulder. It happens like 90% of the time. I'm already out the stock you saw. I bought 100 shares. I got in and out 10% uh, gain. Also, you notice as well is when uh, I put my sell order in, click the join as. I didn't put the sell market. I pick a join as. This is the reason why. If you push sell market, it's going to make that point between the bid and the as. The one that's available most is going to make it happen. Bid and as. That's that sell, that sell market. Now, if you put the join as, it's going to go to the actual as price. Look here. Current ask price is 450. So if I'm still going right now, put the ask price and I put sell ask, it'll sell at the first ask, which is 450. You follow what I'm saying? So when the stock is going parabolic or is moving very fast in volume, I always sell my stocks at the join ask mark because I know for a fact it's going to give me a higher sell point than it would have if I put the sell market. Does that make sense? When I put sell market, it's going to average out between the bid and the ask price and find a first seller in between that. Now, my joint ask is going to be the top of the uh, food chain or the top of the sell orders, more profit. Only when it's going very fast. So, if stock's going very slow, you pick joint ass, it's going to move around, right? Like that. You don't want that. You want quick movements up. When that happens like that, joint ass. I did it live and showed you guys how I would trade my stock at a joint ass price. Now, again, I am not in no way at all giving anyone financial advice. I am just telling you. And showing you how I trade my stocks. Now, remember, I'm trading also for my cell phone. So I'm I take 10% gain all day long on my freaking uh small account. I paid 329 bucks to buy 100 shares of this stock here at 329 my ask price. Back here, it shows you it. Cost $329. I made $39 off that, which in this case is about 12%. I take that. 12% all day. Let me go back to my cell phone and look. Sister called me. I'll call her back in a minute. I'll call you back, Nikki. Uh, if I go here and look at my my uh, large account on my cell phone, I've traded a wreck already. I traded Peck already on my cell. And I see, watch, see that? Out the heart, I told you earlier it's gonna make it move up, right? I called that. It moved up. Now I said it's gonna pull back when it move up. Watch this pull back coming. This is the head part of the head and shoulders. Watch, watch the pull back. See that candle didn't size up red and green, red and green? Watch the pullback. But when it pulls back, it's gonna take a dump. Look at that. Happens every single time. Profit taking and shake and shaking out all these uh, long-term holders. This is why you don't wanna hold penny stocks. Never hold penny stocks. I say again, never hold penny stocks unless you want to lose your money. It's gonna happen. Uh, with that being said, there's the pullback. You see it live. I call the head and shoulders. They go to the shoulder. It pulled back, I said earlier. It made the head. It's going to pull back again, I said, and make another shoulder. Hey, one trade away.